Today in the garden, we have a fun project. It's really easy and we are going to be growing strawberries and planting in a sustainable container. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. First, let's lay out a newspaper and then I'm going to show you everything you need. First, it would be really cool if you can find this at a resale shop like I did. It is an old light holder that would go in a bathroom. Okay. And I also found three old lampshades. So that's the next ingredient. Then we have base paint and top coat paint, a shovel for when we plant, and my organic mechanic soil. And last but not least, a brush and the strawberries. So that's all you need to put together our whole project. And it cost me all of you know, because I'm using old stuff, six bucks. What a deal. Well, we're going to cut off the back of this and then we're going to show you how to transform it into a pot. Next, what we need to do is cut off all the wire on the bottom of this light fixture. So we're cutting off the wire. There you go. And at the bottom of a light fixture, is a ridge that is supportive. This ridge is going to be really the base and hold the entire container together. The next step is we have to paint it. So we want to paint it with a base coat first and shake this sucker up. Okay. And then we start painting. So the next step is covering the whole thing with a base coat and then of course letting that dry. You don't have to be fancy here because when it's on the bottom it doesn't make a difference. No one's going to see it and it'll be covered by a brighter color of paint later on. And I'm going to even do the centers of the two that will be uncovered. Just, we'll just paint over it. We're ready for the next step, which is to do the top coat. What do you think? Yeah. You want to do it for me? Yes. All right. She's going to hop in and do the top coat. Now, while she's starting the top coat, I want to tell you about the paint. Use low or no VOC paint. It's really important for the environment, and it doesn't have any fumes that come off of it. So it's much, much better to use and certainly much safer outdoors in your garden. Now the next step is something special. We are going to add the tops, which are really lampshades. And I got them at a resale shop for $1, so you can't beat the price. Now, ta-da, everything's reused. We didn't get anything brand new except my Corona trowel. Okay, we got that new. So what I'm gonna have you do is take the soil. We have organic mechanic soil that we're using because it's all natural, it's organic, there's no chemicals added, and we're going to put them in the different containers. And why I chose organic mechanic soil is because there's worm castings in the soil, which is very good. The Tribute stra Strawberries are sold from Stark Brothers. Okay, now here's the thing. This doesn't look like a strawberry, but it is. It's really cute. Hello. It's bare root. There's no soil on it. And what we're going to do is plant the strawberries in the soil in these recycled canisters. And we are going to grow us some strawberries. One of the good things about these containers is we are not locking them on the bottom. We're just going to set them on a flat surface. So there's a little drainage. It's not sealed. And I prefer it that way. So the strawberries have plenty of drainage. We spread the roots all out dig a little hole just like this and cover it with soil. Now some strawberries take longer than one year to actually produce strawberries. So we'll see, well, this is an experiment. So we're going to see, is this going to produce a strawberry this season or isn't it? Ta-da! Recycled, sustainable strawberry planters by me and Katie. Mm -hmm. <laughs>